Hey, I'm doing another course review. Uh, sorry, apologies for putting two out in the same day, but it's courses that I, I'm trying to get out there for these guys, so fans of the Golf Club 2 can go out there and play it. Today's course is going to be Treasure Island Golf Resort. Now, this was created from $1.50. Um, he told me he, he is a remote control course creator. Uh, and uh, pit bikes, he designs tracks in real life. Um, so he created this golf course as a, a golf and sport resort. Um, he's obviously put, it's obviously a fictional course. Um, he's got his company's um, 51 Sports design logo on every hole. So if you see the 51 Sports, which I think is on the first tee, um, that is just paying a tribute to his, his own business. Um, so let's see how we get on. I have played the first four holes, guys, just to make sure the, the course was worthy enough of being reviewed. Obviously, I don't want to be paying a course that you guys are not going to enjoy watching. So that's a bit of background about the course and about $1.50. Um, hopefully this is another hidden gem, guys, like the previous one. Um, Lil Fry has had very little re uh, plays. So get out there and play. So here we are. Here's the 51 sports that I just mentioned. So hole one is par four, 442 yards, stroke index four. If anyone in the live stream wants to come and join me previously on this round, like uh, Sire and Pachulio did, you are more than welcome, gentlemen. So, actually, let me just find the live stream here on my channel so I can keep up with the chat. Apologies about this, guys. Where is it? Never seems to pop up straight away for me, but obviously I'm live because we've got viewers. There we are. Okay. So an 8 mile per hour wind. Why? It's quite a tough fairway, this. I wonder, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to really swing well here, man. I can't be swinging left like I did in the previous round. Oh, it's slightly left. This is a beauty. Should hold the fairway, though. That is a good drive. Nailed that. 315 yards, to be precise. Looking at around so that has left me 116. Here, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 21. Let's say that is playing 100. So, yeah, I need to... Well, do you know what? I wonder if that wind... I, I, do you know what? I've lost a lot of faith in the wind, so I am just taking a touch off of this. Now, that ball is breaking severely to the left. This is quite a tough shot. Wind blowing one way, and the, the ball wanting to shoot left because it's above my feet. This could actually end up anywhere, guys. It's a better swing. I have no idea where this is going to end up. It's actually not bad. I'll take that. I'll take that from the position I was in. So a 12 foot putt. It's breaking slightly to the right. Greens are slow. 136. Is it going to turn for me? Oh, no. Wow. That's went six feet past. I just touched that ball on 136 six greens. Jeez, oh. That's a real test of the putt on this one now. No, I've missed it. So, guys, I'm going to start off with a bogey here. My pattern is just killing me, to be honest. So, that is a bogey. Three putt. Disaster for the first hole. Let's move on to hole two. Hopefully I can improve. So I'm going to be one over par. Hole two is a 379. Hole two is a 370 yard par four stroke index two. So obviously it's going to be an approach shot. It's going to be over the water, but I think I'm going to... There's no way I can hit a driver off the tee here. I could be wrong. But just looking at that fairway... It's automatically gave me a one iron. That's still going to be two. Wow. 
I'm going to have to jack up the hybrid here and I still feel this is quite risky this because I've got the wind hopefully it doesn't carry him into a bunker it's a good swing the wind is taking me round and hopefully I can hold this fairway I did loft up the hybrid come on stop wow that is unbelievable. You seen that there, guys? I jacked all the way down to the, the 10 hybrid. I lofted it up and I still ran out of fairway. So the wind has not been favourable. 115 yards, up 2 yards due to the elevation. So 117. Just going to take a... No, I'm not going to take anything off it. I do feel the wind... The wind should do me a solid here and take me round left. A 10 mile per hour wind now, and it's really taking me round. And if that bites, it could be good. It was a bit short, I could have done with taking a little bit off it. Right, 13, footer here. 13 footer for birdie. Let's hope. I was in this exact, I'm shorter than this for the last birdie, I made a mess at. So let's hope I don't make a mess at this one. 13 feet, 3 inches up. I just didn't turn like I thought it would. I actually right, turned nice after the hole. Five. So it's a par putt. Par. Okay, so that'll keep you at one over for the round. Let's move on to hole three. Coming off of the car on the last one. So 180 yard par three, stroke index six. Very beautiful course, this, guys. I mean, just look at the scenery. You can tell it's like a, a golf and sports resort. And that is a tricky green. That is sloping. Sloping back. I'll have to have a look because that doesn't really show you there. Sloping to the left. So, I might actually be able to use that to my favour. That might slope down towards the hole. But anyway, it's a tough wind. 120, 184 yards, 24 feet down. So that is playing 176. But I am hitting this club because I do feel that that wind. Why, man? I'm just going to jack a bit off, off of this. This is these winds are insane. Hopefully, I can take the bunker out of the equation here. But that is a tough wind. It's a good swing. Beauty. Hey, Tom O, welcome to stream, buddy. Yes. Oh, fantastic. Okay, guys, so Tom O, who's in the stream, has he's a PC player. Now, Tom O has asked me if he could recreate the Hacker's Paradise on the PC. I have no problem with that at all, Tom O. Um, I will pro private mail Tom O all the information, all the courses, but the current um, event on the the Hacker's Paradise is, yeah, it's still the Caddyshack Invitational and it is being played on Loch Lomond, mate. I will get all the information out to you in a private message, Tomo, and keep you up to date with that. But that is fantastic from Tomo to do that. So if you guys are PC players and you want to take part in the, the Hacker's Paradise, Paradise events, but unfortunately you are not on the PS4. Tomo has kindly offered to set it up. Well, according to him, he has now set it up. So if you're on the PC, please go and watch the, the Hacker's Paradise. What is going on here? Because I am putting. Why is it saying loft? So please go and check it out, guys. Tomo will be running that society and uh, he will run it very, very well. According to this, it's straight. It looks straight to me. And there we go, we get that drop shot back, get a birdie, back to level par. Okay, and that takes you down to even par, nice. So, let's move on to hole four, which looks like it's a par five. Okay, here we go. 531 yards, stroke index 14. Yeah, definitely go and check out the Hacker's Paradise on PC, guys. And please come and check out the PS4, it's going really well. I'm getting lots of, it's brilliant getting comments from subscribers and guys on the PSN network who have, who have said, oh, I love the events, your, your events are going really well and fair, so please check it out. 
So nothing really here, guys. I think it's going to be a tough second shot, as you've seen there. The second shot is probably going to be a huge dog leg right. I don't want to be too left here because I will come in at huge trouble with a bunker. So I'm just going to use the wind to take me round. And as it's a slope, we're hitting on a slope here. We're not going to get much distance. So the second shot is going to be hard. And that is a good swing on that one. And yet, that is not really going to travel. One bounce and then poof, dead. So I can't understand how this is a stroke index 14. This feels as if it should be tougher than me, as someone asked earlier. Now, is this really worthwhile going for this? I do feel that with a hybrid here... Do you know what? I feel that this is... I can fade this round. I'm going for it, guys. I'm going for it. Just take a bit of loft off of that. Oh, that's a fast I've put on it, so that is not going to turn at all. I, I could be in trouble here, it could be in the water. So yeah, right. find the water. Wow. Nightmare shot, nightmare shot. Hey, Richie, how's it going, pal? Welcome to stream. Hope you're well, Rich. I see you're st still thrashing out Neo, mate. I've still not had time to pick it up, I'm afraid. So after that, guys, that is just an awful shot I've played there. So let me see, 50, yeah, I'm just going to have to really try and draw this. This this just could be a nightmare here. could be an absolute horror show here. We got it out. Try to be clever. It hit the tree. So this is night for par. This is a huge putt for par. Breaking heavy to the right. Then it kind of levels itself out like, towards the bottom. But this is going to be a tough putt. We've got it down the slope. It should start to turn left. Didn't run on though. Didn't run on. Cool. I'll skip the Caddy Shack one as I guess it's near the end and jump it. Definitely, mate. I'll get that out to you, Tomo. But, uh, it's a pleasure, mate. And thanks very much for for wanting to do that, buddy. I really appreciate it. So, 13 feet, one inch down. Is that going to turn? Didn't hit it again. So, that is going to be a double bogey, guys, due to the hazard. Criminal doing that on a par 5. Sitting Hey, how's it going, Steel Bean? I did, mate. I did. I went straight into the water. So hole five is 293 yard, par four, stroke index 12. Hopefully I can get a drop shot back here because I should not be far off the green here. Oh, why, but I like it. I like how he's put it. Look at that bunkers. Look at the bunkers. Why? Why? This is a thinking man's course, this, guys. You really have to really have to think about every shot you're playing here and I'm really enjoying it so far. Dollar fifty's made a great job of this actually. No, I'm gonna have to play the hybrid. Just gonna jack it up. Far better swing. Straight down the middle. Hopefully we hold the fairway. Yeah. So it's just going to be a short pitch shot into the green this time. The green does look like it's down off the fairway it is. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. So that's playing 83 yards with a wind against. I'm still, even though the wind's against me. Actually, I am just playing this. I am just playing this because that wind is really strong now. Don't know how much influence the wind's going to have at this distance. Hopefully not too much. Put a perfect slow on that, but the wind's going to counteract it. It's still going to go right. Wow, it still went well, right? And there you go. The wind did really affect that. Really affected that. Poor swing, though. Like I say, guys, I am not swinging well. It's now. I'm really having 
having issues with my game just now, as you can clearly see. The only way to get through it is keep playing it. So, 13 yards. I've got no idea how this is going to come out. I'm just hitting this fool, to be honest. That should check up. Oh, almost put it in. And hopefully that's going to be a par save. Four feet to the hole, you can do this. It is. So I'm going to stay at one over. Okay, so that'll keep you at two over. Two over. Ah, it was a double bogey, I forgot. So look at that for a scorecard, guys. Bogey, par, birdie, double bogey, par. Not very well so far. Next Not playing this course uh, well at all. Hole 6, 583 yards, par 5, stroke index 18. So this hopefully is an easier hole. Once again, I'm probably going to have to... Is that a lot of landed strip? Wow, or is that... Ah, it's another tee box. Second shot's going to be over the water. Wow, so a 583 yard, par 5. Very testing course, guys. Very testing course. I, I don't know if I can... Nah, I'm not risking playing the driver there. The only thing is, these fairway bunkers are so strategically placed. Wow. He's really thought about this. I just hope I've got enough to get over that bunker, guys. Oh, don't like how that came back. A slow, slow. Nice. I've never had a slow, Fair slow way. in my life. Why? I've never played a slow, slow in my life and it looks like it just counteracts each other. Jesus. That is one for the record books, guys. You've seen it live on YouTube. A slow, slow. I'll be amazed if anyone's ever had a slow, slow other than me. So I do feel it's probably going to have to be... Six wood here. Wait a minute. I think I could actually hit the one iron. Yeah, the one iron wins against me. Sloping on the left. Perfect, perfect. Should give me a close approach shot. That wins just took me around a bit more than what I anticipated. So, wow, Jesus, I'm not doing myself any favours at all here. 70 yards, 3, 6, 9, so let's say 67. The only thing is, I don't want to be short and chip this in the bloody bunker. Perfect, perfect. I've got no idea where this is going to go. Could it kick on and bite? Oh, slow up for me. Absolute delighted with that shot. It should Great give me a birdie. Uh, Let's see if we can start waking on my right, way, making my way back to level par. This would put me to one over after the double bogey. Yeah, I get it. So it's a, quite a tough course, this, guys. Um, you've really got to think about each shot. Let's move on to hole 7, but it's a lovely looking course guys, just just look at the surroundings. Hey Kevin, welcome to stream buddy, thanks very much. I appreciate that, wow look at that waterfall, that is beautiful. You can clearly see there's been a lot of time and effort put into this course guys, in fact I might even use this course as for one of the society events. Because this really gets you fit. It's everything with the tour clubs is kind of just tricky. This I think there's only been one hole I've managed to hit my driver. I mean, look at this. It is not giving you much room for error at all. And the way I'm swinging today and yesterday, this is not easy. I'm just trying to find the gap between these three bunkers. And I've hit another perfect slow, so that is just going to go right for days and find a bunker. 
or even worse, I'm going to be in the heavy rough. I would actually have preferred the bunker there, to be honest. Because look at these slopes I'm now playing off of. So, just my tempo has just went to shit at the moment, guys. Very frustrating. So I am going to have to aim. Maybe not as much left as that. And hopefully I've got enough club on this. I have club down. It's going to take a bit of loft off it. Don't like how that's coming back. Another perfect slow. And it's going to be long. Unless it comes back off that slope, it could be alright. So, quite very fortunate there, guys, with the perfect slow. Because um, it does peak you right, so I obviously miscalculated. So this just looks like a tap and birdie, but with the phantom brakes, I've got to make sure... I'm convinced that is just straight. If anything, maybe just slightly to the left. Yeah. So, despite not even playing that, I hacked my way around that to get a birdie. So I get back to level par. Two consecutive birdies. Despite playing not well. Let's move on to hole 8. 183 yards, par 3, stroke index 8. Once again, that bunker is maybe going to be right in the way of the tee shot. And it's quite a tough pin. Right at the front of the green. So 173 down 28 feet. So let's take 10. 163. I'm just taking a tiny bit off of my 8 iron guys. Hopefully. Can just get this running up. Hey, Steel Bean, thanks, mate. I just don't really deserve it, though, the way I'm playing. And I don't know what's going on. My club just doesn't seem to be coming back. These perfect slows are killing me. Now, there was no way that was a perfect slow. Wow. I, I just can't understand why... I, I can't get it, guys, because I am not swinging slow at my end, so I'm maybe going to have to counteract that. So hopefully I've allowed enough right for that. I don't think I have. I'm in the water. Wow. Wow. And this is just absolute awful, guys. I'm having an awful day in the course here. I really, really am. I can't see any other way here because I'm going to have to go over this tree. I am just not playing well at all. I'm probably just going to have to hit a 65-yard pitch because I do feel that this is hitting this tree. Jacking it up. And I cannot get my swing tempo going at all. Managed to kick out. Nah, I don't think so, mate. It's just, just at times the club's not coming back how it is. How it should. I mean, the game mechanics have been really well for me today. There's no way I can complain about the game mechanics today. But I just don't know, mate. I'm just struggling with my game at the moment. I shot an 8 over par yesterday. Um. Just not playing to the to what I know I should be playing. My handicap has drastically came down. So just no consistency in my game at all today, guys. So that is gonna put me back to two over. So look at this, I went bogey, par, birdie, double bogey, par, birdie, birdie, and then another double bogey. So let's hold, head out onto hole nine. Yeah, the, the the course is tough, but it's not this tough. It's not too over par tough. So, 380 yards, par 4, stroke index 10. Once again, guys. The bunkers, and then over the water. Now, it'll be interesting to know from Dollar Fifty because I know he'll be watching this. I don't think this course is designed for tour players. I think this is more for standard to... Um, 
players because every every fairway seems I can't use my driver. I mean, if you look at this, I, I just don't know. There's no way I can hit my driver. And the way I'm swinging, I've got no confidence in hitting anything now. There's a perfect, perfect. I'm just trying to land it over this bunker and then uh, I think I'm going to run in it. Yeah. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. So actually, what I tried to do happened right, there. Nice. That was a better swing. About 120 yards or so, to the pin so right 3, 6, 9, 12. So 124 yards to the pin. Wins against me. <coughs> I do feel this is a club. Wins against me quite strong here. That should bite, no problem. So, birdie opportunity here. That was better swings. This looks like quite a quite an easy putt. It is breaking slightly to the left. Oh, now. I did. I just put it one touch to the left, but there we go again, guys. You're seeing it live on stream. Another phantom break is costing me. There's no way it read that far left. I did adjust slightly, and I played it with a bit extra weight to try and take the, the break out of the game, but just the issues I'm having with the game just now is it's every round I'm playing is a, is a fight, you know? It's not always enjoyable when this keeps happening to you. Um, I am trying to take my time more over the green reads, but you've got to put your faith in the green reads. If I, if I didn't want to trust them, I would take it off. I would take the green grids off. But once again, that affects me, so it's going to cost me again. So, hole 10, 310 yards, par 4, stroke index 17. And once again, it's the second shot is over. Over the water into very well protected greens. I mean, the bunkers are a bit excessive. That is my only criticism about this course: is the bunkers are really, really excessive. Um, I think dollar fifty should should reduce some of the bunkers. I do feel I can hit this with a three wood. The wind should get me there. There's another perfect slow. I mean. That's in the bunker all day long. I don't feel like I'm swinging that slow, so... You're seeing it, guys. I've got so much inconsistency in my swing just now. It's, it's frightening. So, 3, 6, 9. So, let's say that's playing 64 yards. I do feel I could actually play this. This could be nice. Now, I have not played that shot at any different tempo than what I have previously. Yeah, I find the green goods too. Yeah, they're very inconsistent, mate, and they're costly. They're very, very costly. Well, for me, they're costly, but not to worry. 13 feet, breaking to the right. Is it going to turn? Ah, I didn't hit it. Didn't hit it. So... It's a par. I tell you what, if I can get back to level par, guys, I'll be happy. Let's move on to hole 11, which looks like it's a par 4. Okay, here we go. 386 yards, par 4, stroke index 5. I, uh, Despite my score and the way I'm playing, guys, I'm really enjoying this course because, like I say, you've really got to think about each course, how you're playing it. Each shot is a, is a challenge. And I do feel that was a landing strip in the water there. It'll be interesting to hear from Dollar Fifty, but I am convinced that one there is meant to be a landing strip. I mean, there's no way on earth you could hit that with a driver. It could be something completely different, but to me, maybe it's just meant to be a little island, a picturesque island. 
So once again, guys, uh, you, the tour clubs here, you're such a disadvantage because you cannot use it. There's no point in having tour clubs. You're just getting punished, as you're seeing with my swing tempo. I think I've only been allowed to hit one driver off the tee. So kind of defeats the, use, the, the point of using tour clubs. I think it should be the other way around. I think courses should maybe be designed for two clubs to encourage everyone to use them. You shouldn't be punished. You're getting punished enough as it is for the for the tour clubs. And I, I, I just can't explain it, guys. There's another slow. I think I'm going to get away with this one, but I honestly cannot pinpoint what I'm doing wrong. For me, I'm not... My swing back is the same speed as my swing forward. So it's very strange. I just can't seem to, to get this out of my game at the moment. 177 yards. So let's say down two feet, 176. Wind is breaking severely to the left. And there's another slow, slow, so... That's definitely a record. You've seen two slow slows in one stream. I've never hit a slow slow before in my life and I hit two in a stream. All right, we got so, a just not understanding this one, guys. So, 22 feet, up two inches. Breaking to the left. Just didn't read that again. I didn't think I was breaking as hard left as that. So it's just going to be a tap in par, hopefully. A little six footer, breaking to the left once again. Drain that in the middle. Okay, so that'll keep you at two over. So two over, I'm running out of holes here to get back to level par. All right, let's haul off. So hole 12, 638, 638 yards. So par five, stroke index 11. And there's the houses. The dollar fifty's talking about. He's he's created houses on the the golf course, and look at that. There's my yacht just waiting for me, guys. Oh, excuse me, my, my uh, it's my dinghy. It's actually behind the yacht, just out of shot. So, guys, it is a, such a beautiful course, challenging course. I do feel it's pointless using the tour clubs on this course. So here we go. Here's the second one I can recall that I'm allowed to use my driver. Not that I'm swinging it well, so. I just don't know, guys. Maybe I'm having controller issues. Do you know that? Because I just cannot get my tempo going at all. I really, really can't. I'm just going to take my charger out. I wonder if my charger is affecting it. That is my charger now disconnected. So this 638 yards, you're never hitting this in two. Probably gonna have to be my hybrid again, to be honest. Yeah, just jacking this right up. Take all the distance off it. Perfect slow, so it is gonna go right, but I should should be okay. So I've got the back swing down a perfect. It's just getting the, the down swing now a perfect. So, 129 yards, one foot up. The wind is strongly in my favour, though, so... Just going to take that off it. And I really don't want a slow here, because it'll just put me right for days. I just don't like the way my club's coming back. Jeez, oh, I've actually had a perfect, perfect, what's going on? The wind's not really took me around as much as I hoped. So it's going to be about a 16, 17, maybe 20 feet put, foot putt for a birdie. Yeah, 20 feet. Yeah, 20 feet. Five inches down, break into the right. Down slope should take us, and we're going to come round, no. The game seems very glitchy. The camera seems very, very glitchy, guys. I don't know if I am experiencing issues. That'll work for par. And that'll keep you 
at two over for the round. So two over for the round, guys. Let's move on to hole number hole 13. Number 13. It's a 203 yard par three, stroke in deck seven. Very, very tough. I mean, look at that green. This is this is tough. Look at that. That is quite insane, to be fair. Very little margin for error. So if I want to... I don't want to be short. I do not want to be right. So that is playing 198 yards with a wind. I do feel I can hit that. That's a far better swing. This could be decent. I think it is going to be long though. Probably just going to trickle off onto the fringe. Yeah, we have better swing tempo though. So eight yards, one feet up. And why you certainly do not want to be long in this. I do not want to be long or I am all the way off here. And I've I just through fear, guys, I've really under hit that. Tommy H, slow slows are getting ridiculous for me as well. Contemplating going back to player clubs, duty issues. Yeah, I, I can't get my finger on it, Tommy. That is the first slow slow I've ever hit in the game. It's normally perfect fast was my downfall. So I, I can't understand it, mate. There's I, I do feel there's quite a bit of... I don't know. I just can't put my finger on it. I can't seem to fix the issue just now either. So it's a great par save, probably one of my better putts of the day. It's going to keep me at two over. But yeah, I'm just I'm just playing like shit at the moment, guys. I've got actually no confidence in any shots at the moment. So, hole 14, 424 yards, a par 4 and stroke index 13. There's the house, it was houses that we were seeing and talking about for the, the residents of Treasure Island Golf Resort to live in. I love the story behind the, the creation. The, it's a very good course, guys. Um, I'm just not playing it well. <laughs> Some of the shots are ridiculous, but it is a it's, a it's a course that gets you thinking. But like I say, no point playing tour clubs in this course at all. Whole point about playing tour clubs is mainly for the distance, and if you're like me, for the challenge. I'm not saying the player clubs are certainly not a challenge. The way I'm playing, a bloody bloody struggle with the player clubs. So. I'm just really jacking that up. And I, I really need a perfect, perfect here. Once again, it's a perfect slow. I just, I can't put my finger on the pulse of what's going wrong here, guys. I really can't. Mr. Joey, man. Seems really random. Some rounds I'm perfect, perfect, though. Any given okay, round, and then I can't play a round here. right after. Yeah, I'm the same, Tommy. I mean, I, I don't know what it is. I really don't. I can't put my finger on it. I mean, majority of the time, I'm a really straight swinger. All the, the, the problems I had was my tempo, but I thought I got past that. I thought I found a slow tempo that managed to get me perfect perfects, I would say, 90% of the time. But just as now, I'm not hitting shit. So that's playing 135. Going to take a bit off this pitching wedge. And there's a perfect, perfect. So as you're seeing, guys, my tempo is so sporadic, but I don't feel like I'm... How is that went as long as that? I don't feel like my swing has changed. I just feel in my head that I'm swinging the exact same way all the time. But that's the challenge of the game. That's that's why, why we enjoy it. That's why everyone keeps coming back. 26 feet, 4 inches up. Oh, just short. Well, that was a fantastic putt. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, definitely, mate. Frustrating. I plugged in my controller while you're playing, and that made the difference. Do you know what, mate? I, I'm charging my my cables not long enough. My ch PS4 charging cables. So what I, what I have been doing, mate, is my I've got my laptop here 
uh, Mr. Joey Man, and I'm streaming this via watching it on the laptop, and I've got a USB. I've got the, the charger plugged into the USB dongle via that way, so I don't know if it's any difference. Ah, and I skipped that. Sorry, guys. So hole 15 is a par 4, 426 yards, stroke index 1. So let's just have a quick look at the flyover. Once again, very common feature. Your your tee shot and your approach shot is over the water. But once again, these, these bunkers are... I do feel dollar fifty. The only criticism I've got is it's quite a challenging course as it is. You don't need all these bunkers. I mean, that is so narrow. I mean, I'm going to go for it. But with the wind and things to take into consideration, this is a tough shot. I'm just trying to find the gap between the bunker and the fairway, and I need a perfect, perfect. I just don't like the way the club's coming back at the moment. I really don't. I've got the perfect, perfect. It's all on the wind calculations now, and that the winds just take me right round into there. So it's it's. A lot of these shots are down to luck, uh, not skill. That's the only frustrating thing about this course. I would say a lot of the shots are down to luck. But please get out there and try this course out, guys. It is a good course. I'm just not playing well. So 134 yards. Let's say 132. Wind is in my favour. Just going to loft this up a bit because I do not want to hit water here. And this wind is really sporadic. There's a perfect, perfect. Looks like you're gonna hit some sand here. Ah, so we went from bunker to bunker. To beach. Not the happiest of times. Yeah, it's it's insane. I mean, I've heard a lot of people say that if they plug in this or do that, I, I don't know. I mean, it might give you advantage. I've certainly not seen any advantages with, with doing that. You either play well or you don't. And I'm certainly not playing well. So I feel with that, I'm just going to have to hit this chip shot, you know. That could be nice. That's a really good shot from there. It should give me the par save. Little five -footer here. Yeah, five footer. Just going to drill this home. So it's a good par save. I am currently playing around as well, wireless, no issue yet with the swings and tour clubs, so fingers crossed. Well, good luck with that steel bean. <coughs> I mean, I'm not saying the issues that I'm having are down to the game. I'm saying it's down to me. Um, I have had a lot of issues with the game mechanics, but I certainly don't feel the issues I'm having just now are down to that. I mean, I'm just not getting any consistency. So hole 16 is 204 yards, a par 3, stroke index 15. It's a very large green. It is down 42 feet, so 30, 3, 6, 9, 12. Let's take off 14 yards, so it is playing 181. Strong wind against me, though, so I am going to play the 5 iron. I'm just going to jack this up a bit. I'm playing slightly left to the moment as well, so I'm going to take that into consideration here. There's a perfect, perfect. And by Sod's Law, I've hit it perfectly straight. It's going to be decent, though. Might f oh, it's creeping its way up to the pin. Happy with that. Okay, solid approach. For the here. Do you know what, Mr. Joey, man? I had a conversation with... I can't recall who it was. It's an, uh, another guy I game with on this game. And do you know what? He said the exact same thing as you. He says, Lee, some days I'm perfect. This is with the tour clubs. He says, Lee, some days I'm perfect. Next day, like me, he couldn't have a fucking cow's arse with a banjo. And that is that is what I'm... I'm experiencing that myself. I mean, I've not changed my swing. I really haven't. You're seeing it here. I'm getting perfect, perfects. So I'm getting slow, slows. I think it's just one of them things, guys, to be fair. There we go, guys. Another phantom break. There's another phantom break for yours truly. Yeah, there we go. We look back at that. The previous putt it showed me was one break trickling left, so maybe it is issues with the game. I don't know. I mean, I, I certainly seem to be getting more issues than most. 
I mean, that's the second birdie part I leaked the Stonewaller, and it's killed me. So I'm glad it's happening live in the stream, because a lot of people say, oh, there's Lee complaining again. <laughs> it's not that I'm complaining, it's just through frustration, especially when you're entering societies like the one I have, Hackers Paradise, and then you're, you're no, you're, you know you're a good enough player to compete, but when the game's throwing you wobblers and you don't see other people experiencing that, you just, you get a bit frustrated. So anyway, hole 17 is 406 yards, par 4, and it's a stroke index 9. Can I hit a driver here? Way, I think this is the third or fourth hole I could really say yet. I can definitely hit a driver, but this is all going to be a test of my swing again. And there we go, there's a perfect, perfect. Hopefully it's right in the middle of the fairway, it is. But please go out there and play this course, guys. Give give Goodall a 50, uh, a wee bit of help, he's creating courses, he's struggling to get people to play them, so hence why I play courses like this, guys. It's not the best course I've played, I'm not going to lie, but it'll be getting a, a four star for me, I would say. So 123 yards, down 22 feet, because the wind's against me, guys, 36, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 7. I'm just lofting up a tiny bit, the wind is strong against me, and I am playing down slope, and there's a perfect slow again. Ah, I just don't get it, guys. Seriously. Seriously. And there you go. See with the two clubs. Hey, you seeing how left that is, man. Jeez. So I think that's the fourth time I've hit the water in this round. And it's just dropped me right back to where I was. So that is insane that I have went as far right as that. I've swung the exact same way as I did previously, and it's a perfect, perfect straight. Just a bit short. Oh, I got a nice bounce there. So, it's been an awful day in the course for me, guys, but it's not taken away my enjoyment of playing this course. 17 feet. Looks like we've drained it. We have. It's for a bogey, though. So despite it in the war, it's not, but oh, it's a double, oh, it was a par four. That was, a, I thought that was a par three. Wow. So anyway, hole 18, 633, 634 yards. It's a par five, stroke index three. It's, it's a very, it's a very nice course, guys. Very challenging. It's certainly not been designed for tour clubs. I can assure you that. It'll be interesting to hear from Dollar Fifty. But dollar fifty's created a few courses. So it's a huge dog left. Dog leg left. And why look at the little and there there's the boats just waiting, waiting for me to go home. Ah, it's 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 not really Joey. I've been, I've been struggling with my game lately, mate. Um I really have, buddy, but thanks. Thanks for that. I I am quite harsh on myself sometimes, guys, but once again you're seeing it's gonna be very hard to to have a driver here guys but you know what I am going to try I'm just going to draw this round I've got no idea where this is going I'll probably hit a slow slow the ball will probably end up being like a boomerang there's a perfect perfect good so far. or maybe we've played a worldie here if this holds if this holds a fairway oh wow look at that That's one of my finer shots of the Ryan. Let's see if we can finish with a birdie before my uh, I head off into the distance of my yacht. So I'm never hitting this. Look at the wind. Ball is going to go off right. I'm just hoping I avoid the bunker here. Perfect, perfect. Oh, we've avoided the bunker, so we played a great shot there, and hopefully it's just a, a pitch shot into the green. 3, 6, 9, 12, so let's say that's putting 79 yards. Wind is really against me here. I don't want to be short due to the, the bunker. I just took a tiny bit off of this.
Perfect, perfect again. <laughs> I tell you what, mate, the way Tim's going, you might end up with a yacht like that. So, surely it's going to be a tap in for birdie, and we get it back to plus two. So, what a mixed round that was there, guys. Just check out the scorecard here. Um, how is that? I've, I didn't finish. Full, I didn't finish the full eighteen on this. So why is it gave that? So anyway, guys, it's. I'm. I'm I don't know. I did favour it. I don't know why it's got that. So I am going to give it a four star. I don't think it justifies a five star. Definitely a four. I favourite it. Please go and check this course out, guys. Hopefully you can. Uh, execute your shots better than I did and give the course a bit more justice but that's it for today's course of you guys thanks very much to everyone who hung out in the the live stream I really really appreciate it Colm Condon the green grids should be smaller and tighter when you're closer to the hole as in the square should be smaller it might weed out some yeah definitely Colin yeah there's issues with the game and they need to fix Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, Mr. Joey Man. Thanks, Steel Bean. Thanks to everyone who stopped by the stream. That's it for today, guys. For those of you who are catching up on YouTube, please hit the comment button and uh, the comment button. Please hit the subscribe button. Give me a like and uh, say something in the video. Thanks, Richie. Take care, mate. Thanks very much for watching. Richie, we'll have to get a game soon. Right, I'll see you later, guys. Take care. Bye.